Now we start with an update on matters to do with the drought and the government in partnership with other non-state actors has embarked on an initiative to mobilize funds to help mitigate the ongoing drought. Now speaking during the launch of the National Steering Committee on Drought Response, Deputy President Rigati Gashagwa said that the drought situation is worsening with 14 counties in the alarm phase, up from 11 counties uh, reported last month. Now, the second in command tasking uh, the committee to marshal resources to support the over 6 million Kenyans in dire need of humanitarian assistance. Now, he revealed that members of the Kenya Defense Forces have already pledged to forego part of their salary to support the cause which he challenged Kenyans to join. He also was quick to warn against taking advantage of this opportunity to con Kenyans while purporting to collect funds. For the hungry. No single entity, uh, whether in government, NGO, or in the private sector, uh, that can take this, can tackle this alone. Uh, it requires the partnership and collaboration across all sectors, uh, as Your Excellency, you have stated, for both short term but also long term interventions. The National Steering Committee on Drought Response that we are inaugurating today will, among other things, establish a private-led National Drought Mitigation Appeal Fund and mobilize resources to alleviate the impact of drought ravaging parts of this country. We appeal to Kenyans of goodwill to contribute a percentage of their salaries to pay to a pay bill number that will be established soon by this committee. Already. Our men and women in the Kenya Defense Forces have offered to forego one day salary to contribute to the response kit. There will be no parallel pay bill and means of making contribution to this appeal other than the official channels that will be outlined by this committee by the end of the day. We warn cartels, conmen and fraudsters who want to take advantage of this initiative to con the people of Kenya money.